So in this video, we're going to go over one of the simplest and easiest changes that can be made to the FRS3, and that's changing the button caps and the hot swappable switches. So in all uh, cases with the um, FRS3, all the switches that you see on the face are hot swappable and the button caps are easily replaceable. So we want to take just a little screwdriver or a pen or something like that, and we can just slide that underneath the button cap and use the screwdriver or the pen just to um, leverage that so it comes loose and it will come off with fairly um, little difficulty. We'll put that to the side. And if we're all wanting to take out the mechanical switch inside, that these will all be Cherry MX, um, what we can do is just pry this loose by using a little screwdriver just to um, loosen it from the housing. And we want to be fairly careful with this so we don't bend the pins that are on the um, Cherry MX switch and that will just come loose fairly simply. If we're changing to um, new switches or we're putting the, back, uh, putting the switches that we had back in, we just want to make sure that the two pins on the bottom of the switch, you might not be able to see that very well on the camera, uh, but there will be two pins at the bottom of the switch. We want to make sure that those are um, completely straight and pointing directly down. If they're at a slight angle or a little bit bent, then when we push the hot swappable switch back in, there's a chance that we might bend the pin and it might not go into the connector. So we wanna make sure those are nice and straight and make sure that it is the correct way up. You'll see the connectors as you're pushing it back in. And to get your hot swappable switch back in, it's simply a case of lining up and just pushing it in until it goes flush. And we can do that same thing with the cap. Line it up, push it down. This can obviously be done for all of the um, main switches on the top of the FRS.